What's going on guys and gals? Welcome to the RA Visuals YouTube channel. And for those of you that are already subscribed and are part of the Visuals fam, welcome back. So today we're gonna be checking a look at a microphone from a company called Comica and it's their CVM V30 Lite. And now this is a shotgun microphone made for your DSLR, your mirrorless camera, your smartphone, digital recorders, pretty much anything with a 3.5 millimeter jack. So we're gonna get right into this thing, unbox it and take a look at what features it has that maybe you might wanna use it for your camera or your upcoming shoot. Let's go. URCD key has discounted codes for games and software that are a fraction of what you would pay if you purchased them from a retail store. More specifically, they have great prices on their Microsoft Office 2016 bundle that comes with a Windows 10 license as well. If that's not enough, you can also use my promo code RAV20 to receive 20% off the already discounted price. Just type in your product you're looking for, add it to the cart, view your cart, head to the checkout, type in my promo code, once again, RAV20, and see the sweet savings appear. Check the links in the video description to learn more. So getting right into some features of this little shotgun mic we got right here. So this thing comes in both a red model like we have right here that I just showed you. And it also comes in a black model if you prefer to keep everything, you know, nice and stealthy on your camera setup. And it has a little handy switch on the back of the mic to switch it from uh, camera mode to smartphone mode. And it does not require any batteries, which is kind of awesome, but it also is pretty much a double-edged sword because it runs off your camera's internal battery. So uh, make sure you bring plenty of extra batteries just in case, as this will be just another thing draining on your power. Now. To go along with that, I used it for quite a while on top of my a7 III, and I didn't really notice it draining my battery very fast, but if you own a Sony camera like the a6500 or something like that that has the smaller battery, you may wanna look out for some more batteries because uh, those things do not last very long. So this thing does have a like little floating shock mount, so let's go ahead and talk about that real quick. It's uh, it's all made of plastic, but I think it does a good job of keeping the mic in that you know floating position on top of your camera, so it's not, you know, bumping around, you know, and causing a bunch of like weird noises while you're trying to film. And the shoe mount is basically the same way. It's uh, it's all plastic, so you have to be very careful with this. Or, you know, that one time you just decide to screw it in too tightly very fast while you're in a shoot, uh, you might end up breaking it. So please be careful with it. And it also comes with a 3.5 millimeter plug that is coiled and can be stretched out to give you a little more distance to wherever you do want to plug it in, probably your camera, or like I said, your digital audio recorder or whatever you may be using. And lastly, it features a a foam windscreen that you see right here over top of the shotgun portion of the mic uh, to cover the capsule from wind noises and certain plosions in people's voice. Now with the features out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about the sound quality. So I tried a couple different configurations with the V30 Lite out in the field, including putting it on top of my a7 III, like I said before, and also using it with my iPhone 11 Pro Max. Now, I usually use the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus, and it's right up here recording the sound right now. Uh, I use that with my a7 III on the regular, and I set the volume to about seven or to nine on the camera itself, and that seems to sound about right for that microphone and it's a shotgun microphone too so I did the same for the Comica mic right here and uh, this is what it sounds like on top of my a7 III. When you Jake. finish really late at night. What's the, uh, what's the plan today? Uh, we're gonna get uh, real pitted. <laughs> we're getting pitted bro. We're gonna get pitted. Alright, does that sound good to you guys? Oh yeah. Okay. Cool. I guess we're getting pitted. Thanks Jake. Got you. Dylan, how's it going? Big waves. <laughs> big waves matter. Big waves are fun to surf, huh? Yeah, yeah big waves, waves matter. Alright, probably good. It's nice and full. Makes those guys go go faster. And it has it's more fun. 
So I think both those clips sounded very good for what I was trying to get, but one thing I do want to point out to you guys is that something that the V30 Lite has a bit of trouble with is controlling very loud noises. So I was able to test this while filming some wake surfing behind my buddy's boat you guys saw there in the last couple clips, and clearly you can hear that the mic is having a bit of trouble cutting out those exterior noises, and it seems to clip the mic very badly. So they do make a big dead cat for this microphone right here that's super, super big. Uh, it kind of looks like this one right here, but a bit longer. And they do make that. Unfortunately, they did not send that to me, but I feel like that would be an accessory that you'd want to use to actually keep that wind noise down and maybe it would sound a little bit better. So moving on, there was something I really did want to try with this mic, and that is recording it uh, in the boom mic configuration, which I have my mic up here right now. Uh, so I have my Rode VideoMic Pro Plus on the boom stand right above me right there, and this is how I use to record my uh, talking head parts of my videos. So if we quickly switch it to the V30 Lite, here's what my talking head portion would sound like using this mic without any adjustments. It's right up here. But if I snap my fingers again, Here's what it sounds like with my usual EQs that I put on all of my talking portions in my videos normally. So uh, what do you guys think of uh, what the mic sounds like? Do you guys think it sounds all right or does it sound a lot worse? Uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys think right there. Oh, and just so you guys don't think there's any trickery going on right now and I'm just trying to fool you, the mic is right here, I promise. All right, now back to my normal audio. So I know what you guys are gonna say right now. You're gonna go, well, Ricky, you just basically put a $40 mic against almost a $300 mic that you always usually use. And I, you know, okay, fair enough, that's fine. But I also own a Rode Video Micro, which is a lot closer to the Comica mic that we're testing today in price. So if I snap my fingers again, now we're using the Rode Video Micro in the same boom mic configuration that we had before. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Blah, blah, blah. Hello, hello, hello. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. I don't know, I'm just making stuff up at this point. Here's what my talking head portion would sound like using this mic without any adjustments. It's right up here. But if I snap my fingers again, now we're using the Rode Video Micro in the same boom mic configuration that we had before. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Blah, blah, blah. Hello, hello, hello. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. I don't know, I'm just making stuff up at this point. Here's what my talking head portion would sound like using this mic without any adjustments. It's right up here. But if I snap my fingers again, so what do you guys think? Can the uh, Comica V30 Lite keep up with the more popular microphones on the market? Uh, would any of you consider picking this guy up as a nice budget shotgun mic option? Let me know in the comments below or let me know what other things you guys would actually use instead of this mic or if you have any more ideas for your fellow members of the Visuals fam. But honestly, you guys, that's really gonna be it. Just wanted to bring this microphone to you guys and let you know that there's a really cool budget option out there for you if you guys are looking for a mic right now. And uh, you guys do not have to go with the, you know, very top tier freaking companies if you guys don't want to, because there's a lot more stuff out there. So if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more content like this, make sure you go ahead and give the video a like so I know you actually learned something and you want to see more of this content. And if you guys really enjoy my channel and you want to be a part of the Visuals fam, which is a very cool, like-minded uh, group of people just like you guys, probably why you're here watching this video, make sure you guys go ahead and get subscribed and turn those notifications on so you'll always know when my newest video or my latest stream will be going live. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care for now. See ya.